So far we've determined that if the harvesting rate is less than 0.1, the low density growth rate will have a stable positive equilibrium at E equals 1 minus 10H. So the idea is that if we keep harvesting using the effort H, the population size will eventually tend toward the stable equilibrium. If the population size P sub T goes to 1 minus 10 times H, how much do we harvest? Well, our harvest is just H times P sub T. So that's just H times 1 minus 10 times H. Let's give this quantity a name. It's a function of H, so let's call it G of H. What we're interested in is for what value of H is the function G sub H maximized. And we know that H must lie between 0 and the maximum value 0 0.1. When H is 0, G of H is 0. That makes sense. We don't get any harvest when we don't harvest anything. And when H is 0 0.1, the sustainable harvest is also 0. G of 0 0.1 is 0. And this occurs because then the population has died out. So we already know that G of 0 is 0, and g of 0 0.1 is also 0. To find the maximum value of g, we just need to find its critical points, i.e. we need to find the points where g prime of h is equal to 0. Let's go ahead and calculate dg dh, or the derivative g prime, same thing g is a product of two factors, so we should use the product rule. The first factor is h. The derivative of h with respect to h is just 1, so we get 1 times the second factor, 1 minus 10h, plus the first factor h times the derivative of 1 minus 10h. The derivative of 1 minus 10h with respect to h, well, 1 goes away, it's a constant. Negative 10h gives us just negative 10. So dg dh is 1 minus 10h minus another 10h. So it's 1 minus 20h. If we set this equal to 0, we see that h must be 1 20th. So the critical point of g occurs when h is 1 20th, which interestingly is half the low density growth rate 1 10th. We're interested in the global max of g for h being between 0 and 0 0.1. We already tested the endpoints. We saw that G is 0 at the endpoints. The other possibility is the critical point. So let's see what G is at the critical point. G is H times 1 minus 10 H. So G of 1 20th is 1 20th times 1 minus 10 over 20. So it's 1 20th times a half, which is 1 40th. 1 40th is larger than 0, which is the end points, so therefore 1 40th is the global maximum. To maximize harvest, we need to set H, the harvesting effort, to 1 20th, which is half the low density growth rate, R, in this case, the harvest is g of 1 20th, which is 1 40th. Now we have to remember that we set the carrying capacity equal to 1. So what this 1 40th means is that the harvest is 1 40th of the carrying capacity. As a side point, what is the population size under this level of harvesting? 
well, it's just p sub t is 1 minus 10h, which is 1 minus 10 over 20, which is 1 half. And this is relative to the carrying capacity. That's just a side point, but the interesting thing is that the maximum harvest occurs right when the population is at half its carrying capacity. Of course, this is just true for our logistic model. So, if you believe the logistic model, which of course is just a very simple approximation to how populations really grow, then to maximize the sustainable harvest, one should harvest so that the population size is half its maximum. And at that harvesting rate, one is harvesting at half the low-density growth rate.